give away the blessing bag is you know such a it's such a simple thing in the you know the bag itself but it, it's it means so much to these to these people and it's such a uplifting feeling to be able to give something that's not not a big you know not not a life-changing event to us but it is for them there was a man on his bicycle and he was smoking a cigarette and missing teeth. You could tell he had a hard time. And I happened, I said, Tony, pull up here. And we pulled up to next to him and I said, sir, I have something for you. So it's a blessing back. Oh, honey, oh, honey, he started singing, God bless you. And he sang a song I've never heard before. And he turns around and says, bless you, child, bless you, child. The next one, we had just left church on a Sunday. There was a lady who was walking. And I said, ma'am, um, I have something for you. She stopped. She says, you do? And I said, it's the blessing bag. She goes, is there food in there? And I said, yes, there is. And she put it on her back and said, thank you. Now, the third one. There were three people sitting on the corner on the curbside. You could tell they weren't dressed well. It had to be homeless people. I asked Tony, we got a bag in the car? Yes, we did. So I took the bag over there to them. And it was so strange. I said, ma'am, I've got something for you. She goes, really? And I handed her the blessing bag and she goes, well, thank you. I said, it may not be a woman's blessing bag. And she opened it and we were just talking back and forth. She goes, ma'am, look, it is a woman's blessing bag. It's got all the sanitary products and, you know, everything a woman would want. So after we left, I called Brad and I said, Brad, oh my goodness, you got time for a miracle. And he was saying there were no female blessing packs, but this was one that Tony happened to have in his car, picked it up, gave it to Irene, what was her name? Nikki. Nikki. And Nikki started crying, she started laughing, she got up and hugged me. Oh, it was just, that was the biggest blessing anybody could ever encounter just because the timing was the way it should have been. At a bus stop, there was a man just sitting there, had a heavy jacket, it wasn't that cold. I was like, well, he doesn't look like he's an everyday person, probably homeless. And I walked up to him, a little bit skittish, and I said, sir, I have something for you. And he turned around and looked, had big blue eyes, a big smile, and he spoke so quiet. And he says, you do, what do you have? Beautiful, beautiful man. Didn't he say he was in his 80s? Oh yeah, he had told me he was in his 80s. <laughs>